So you guys, I'm sure, have no doubt noticed that there is a new event quest currently in the game. If you go to your quest board and you go to the event quest, there's currently a high rank quest called Beast of the Shadows, which you can obviously download from your courier guy standing right in the steelworks. Now, once you hunt this quest and you beat the Norgakuga, you will get a special sticker that you can use in your chat menu. So if you use the D-pad to access your chat menu from the bottom here, you go to chat menu, you'll see if you go to the stickers side over here by pressing ZR and ZL, your trigger buttons, there is a new one over here. You can just go through the four pages. It'll probably be right at the end, like here, where it is my on mine, which is this number 021. And you can see this is Elder Fugen basically doing like a, a Shadow Clone Jutsu or something. I don't know, dude. He's doing like, he's doing some kind of Jutsu right here and he's mad. He's real angry. But you'll notice that there's no text here. So when you use this, it's just blank. It's like, what? what? Like, why, why, why is there nothing there, bro? There's, there's no text. So what I'm going to actually teach you in this video is how to actually add your own text in any of the different slots over here, right? You can change any of this. Diff in, you can't change the gestures, uh, uh, but the custom shoutouts, you can change all of these. You can make them say whatever you want. You can also change all of the stickers. You want it to say something else? You want this to be like, instead of what the, you can change it to what the, you know, like with the actual thing, but you're probably getting into trouble for swearing. So try not to swear um, in these things. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press down your right analog stick. And if you look at the top left there, the shout out sets, you'll see, you'll see it says translated shout outs. When you press the right stick down, it changes to set one. And you can see these are some that I've already renamed and changed. So I have the fuck and I have Let's do this, guys. So so I can access these over here, and you can put them in your radial wheel, um, you know, over here if you want to use them just like this. So you can, you know, use those to change them over here and have your actual own custom stickers with your own text. But you might be asking, but how do I change the text, ConCon? Con? I'm going to show you right now. So it is a little confusing. We're going to go back there, right? Obviously, it stays on set one there. So you can press the stick in again if you want to go to set two, set three, or your translated shout out. So you actually get three different renames for every single different one. So you can use the same picture three times, technically four times using the original, and then three times with your own text. Now, the way you actually edit these is you go find these, right? Now, you'll notice there are some weird things like this. On this one here, it says subscribe. Now, there is a rule. There is a small, annoying little rule. You can only put seven letters in one line. So seven letters, and the moment you go over seven letters, it goes to the next line, seven letters. And once you've done seven letters there, it goes into the next line. So in total, you're only allowed to use 21 letters or characters, and only seven per the three lines that you're allowed to use. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to go to the hello one here, right? So what we're going to do now, we're going to enter the edit mode. The edit mode is by pressing X. You can see at the bottom right of the screen, it says edit shoutouts. When you press X, the menu changes and you get a bit confused because it goes to like the auto ones. Uh, you can actually change these auto ones to actually be something. So when somebody heals you, you can say F you. <laughs> when somebody, when a teammate buffs you, you can change what these actually say. This is actually pretty cool. You can actually add your own like, you know, response or reply. When you set up a trap, instead of, I set up a trap, you can change it to, like, uh, something else. Lure him into the trap. I don't know. Right? So press ZR from here. You can see at the top left, it will have a green section that, that says can edit. Now, when you're in the wrong set, which is the translated shoutouts, you cannot edit. So you cannot edit any of these. So if you're having a problem with doesn't want to let you edit anything, it's because you're in this mode. And you can press X to basically go back to the chat menu and use the chat as per as per normal. So I'm going to go back, press X again, get used to pressing X and the, you know, the, the right stick in all the time. Make sure you're on set one and it says can edit and then go to stickers. And we're going to go over here to the hello one. Now I'm going to erase what I've got here. Okay. So there's nothing here. Now, just to show you, you might be confused at the top right here. You'll see there's a, a like a, a sticker kind of preview. It's not the right sticker, but what we're looking at is the speech bubble. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eight will start on the next line. Even though if you're looking at where I'm typing, everything is one word. So you actually can't type out a full word without it being cut off. So if you're using words that are longer than seven letters, you're gonna have a problem. It's really annoying. But in cases where you want things to line up, you actually have to add spaces. So if I wanna do hello, 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 like I do from my streams, I will go hello, which is like that, okay. But now, if I immediately press space and I type hello again, you'll see it's going to start doing it like like this. Like you're like, what the hell? That's not what I want. It's like, hello, H, hello? Like, hello? What? No. So what I have to do instead is actually press another space so that there's seven characters there so that the next H that I use is, starts on the next line. So it'll be hello, right? And hello is five letters, so I press space. So you just basically fill out all 21 of the letters. So... 
two spaces after hello. So it's hello, two spaces, hello, two spaces, hello, two spaces. And there you go. Hello, hello, hello. And then press the plus button to approve it, be done with it, and then you go. Now, if I press X, I can go out of the edit mode because obviously if I don't press X, it's just going to go back into the edit mode. Press the plus button to kind of go there. Press X to go out of edit mode. So it says chat menu. You can go to your sticker and you can see it will now say, hello, 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 everybody. Let's do this, guys. Or the fuck. Or hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and that's basically how you change your, your stickers, to change the text in them. And then obviously you can just watch my other tutorial of how to actually change your chat menu icons so that you can add them to your radial wheel so that you can use them here as you go like, like this, which it's actually using my set one right now. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in a future one. Thank you so much for watching.